number one Iron Age booty daddy. The large tech company layoffs have been a huge topic of discussion in this last week. And honestly, I mean, we all kind of saw it coming, right? Like, well, yeah, when the economy's a booming, you know, people get jobs. And then when the economy's not a booming, well, people tend to lose jobs, especially when you're in sectors like tech and other industries where, well, really to keep the bare necessities going for the country, such as infrastructure and things like that, usually if you're not involved in an infrastructure type job, things start to go. But I wanted to talk about this tonight because I saw a video from Clownfish TV that piqued my interest. And there's a theory. Twitch obviously is getting hit by these layoffs that Amazon is doing. Now, they're gonna take uh, 400 of their employees away from Twitch. Supposedly, Amazon is laying off a bunch of like the middle management, a bunch of a bunch of the overhead, right? The guys that don't produce, the guys that watch the other people produce, right? Uh, every company has people like that. Some have more, some don't, right? Managers, they're, they are important to businesses, but you don't need 17 managers for three people doing the work. But, this was an interesting topic to cover because with Twitch getting hit, I think that the idea that Twitch could be up for sale soon, I think that idea is going to garner a lot of steam here soon. Now, obviously, a longtime Twitch CEO uh, who's like there for 16 years decided to bow out of the company, uh, go spend more time with his family. Now, there are some people that are skeptical and they say, well... That's just CEOs don't do that. CEOs don't get take time off and to go spend time with their family. I, you know what? I'm going to take the guy at his word. If that's really what he wants to do, he's got a new baby at home. He wants to just step away from it all and be more of a family guy. I mean, the guy has made his money, right? Does he really need to make more? But he stepped down. Now we're then we also saw. Uh, earlier on, Twitch decided to lower their revenue sharing with their. Uh, with their partners and with their affiliates, right? To where it w went from a 70-30 split to a 50-50 split. Now, 400 people are getting cut from Twitch along with the, the they're part of the 9,000 people that Amazon is laying off. So a lot of things are happening around Twitch right now. And Twitch has been the premier place to watch gaming streamers for many years now. Um, even YouTube, and although YouTube's cut into that market a little bit, even YouTube has had trouble getting into that mar market. Facebook tried it. Microsoft tried it. They couldn't. Whatever Twitch has, whatever that audience is over there, they're in. But Amazon is talking about making major cuts in order to save their profit margins. This is a company, and I think I heard today, they make over $500 billion a year. And Twitch, in their total revenue, only makes a couple of billion, right? Which is something interesting to think about. Twitch is such a small footnote in the Amazon brand and totally different, totally away from what Amazon does and what they're looking to do. Could Amazon put Twitch up for sale? And if Amazon puts Twitch up for sale, where does it go and what does it look like? Now, Clownfish TV, like I said, they kind of inspired this video. They had they had the idea that Twitch could the really the only place that could benefit from buying a gaming platform would be a place like Rumble. So would Rumble, it would, so first of all, could Twitch get sold and what does that look like for the platform? Well, first of all, if it gets sold, you can imagine that a lot of the creators over there on Twitch are going to lose massive amounts of money when that transition happens. And that's something that I don't want to see for anybody. I don't want to see people, I don't want to see people get laid off of their jobs. I don't want to see people lose out on money that they're using to provide for themselves, their families, um, in any way, right? But if that transition were to happen, if that is an idea that is out there where Twitch could get sold, how is that going to change Twitch in the future? And then the, the to posit the other idea, if Twitch, which is a very, very leftist platform, were to get sold to somebody like Rumble, if Rumble could swing the cash for it, one, would it benefit Rumble? And two, how 
Is that going to radically alter the content being made on Twitch? That's something that's just very interesting to me to think about. Ultim <clears throat> ultimately, what you would have is a major brand, a huge brand in the gaming live stream world getting sold and going to another company. All of that ad revenue that is there, what, however much it is, goes in that area with them right or gets directed over there then you have the insulated audiences right and that revenue now starts getting shared with another platform now how does that platform who buys twitch what kind of ideas do they have around speech and things like that are they more restrictive are they less restrictive what kind of games get allowed over there how ultimately does this change the twitch ecosphere all of these are questions that are hugely important to ask and something that's just really fun to think about for instance i'm not very active over on twitch i have a twitch channel but i'm not very active over there one because i don't have time to freaking play a lot of video games anymore but the other reason is because well my sense of humor and me and my buddy's sense of humor tends to not play well over on twitch it doesn't really play well over here on YouTube, but I'm such a small channel, they don't even care about me, right? That's awesome. But if it were to get bought by, say, a platform who is more open to just having entertainment and whatnot, how would that affect that platform? What if Rumble or Odyssey or BitChute or any of these companies out there, they could come up with the scratch to buy it? Would that bring in enough of a normie audience to affect them in a way that would make them actual competition for places like Facebook, Twitter, um, YouTube? If this is a possibility that one of these up-and-coming alt-tech, as they call them, platforms could pull in the money and bring over Twitch if Amazon decides to sell. How does that affect the entire, and that could affect the entire streaming world and video world doing what I do. In fact, when I heard this news, I decided, you know what? Maybe I will give my first Rumble live stream a shot tonight. And so I went over and I went through the rigmarole of setting up a live stream on Rumble, even though it's they're still rough but i'm a small growing channel right so i might as well try to do what i do and do what i do my best over there as well as over here this is something that i think might have some merit now i don't know who's gonna buy twitch but based off of the way that amazon's talking and based off of just a lot of companies over the last year getting rid of some of the some of the fluff as it were I think the possibility of Twitch getting sold is quite likely. Uh, maybe later this year, maybe early next year, because I've been hearing a lot of news coming out about Twitch in the last week, and I don't even follow Twitch news. So if it's entering my sphere, it's entering other people's spheres as well. So let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think? Do you think that Twitch could go up for sale? Have you heard any of this news? Do, are, do you watch people on Twitch? What do you think could happen if a platform like Rumble bought Twitch? Because that's just a fun thing to think about. And if you guys like what I'm doing here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for me. Oh, and by the way, there's a Rumble link down in the description below. So if you guys want to follow me over there on Rumble as well, you can do that. But never forget, guys, if you guys do decide that you want to comment down below, I do a special live stream for you every Sunday at 11 a.m. It's called Sunday Coffee. That's where I get my cup of coffee out. We go live, get you guys in the live chat, and I read your comments from the week. I put your comments on all my videos up right there on the screen, and that way we can have some fun and go through. And that way, if I get something wrong or you think I'm off base, you can let me know in the live chat. And you guys get to interact with me in that way because I feel that if you're going to dedicate time to me, I should dedicate it right back to you. So thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. And until next time, 
Cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video, and I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you to join my Gilded or my adrinkwithcrazy.locals.com. If you're looking to support me, those two places are the best ways that you can do it. Not only that, but that's also where you can interact with the fantastic community that I am building around A Drink With Crazy. So thank you all so much, and I'll see you there.